Hi everybody. My name is Gerdy, Gerdy Verboord. I'm a coach at DareGreatlyCoaching.com and I help people who want to discover what truly is important to them so they can live a life true to themselves, live a life that's totally their own instead of a life that others expect of them. And to be able to do that, it is really important that you focus on it, that you make time to figure it out, to figure out what is truly important to you. And I've found that it is the mundane things in life that keep us from doing that. So for myself, I've hacked some of the things that are mundane in my life, just like things like uh, wardrobe and grocery shopping and that kind of thing. And I thought I'd share them with you. And uh, I wrote them down on my hand because, you know, otherwise I might forget something. But one of the most important ones, and, my, and perhaps for you guys, when you watch my videos, one of the most obvious ones is my wardrobe. I'm tall. I am six foot one or 101 meter 85 centimeters, which is tall for a woman. And it's hard for me to find clothes that really fit, especially female clothes. So what I do is uh, when I go uh, clothes shopping, wardrobe shopping, I get incredibly frustrated. So at one point I decided I'd had enough. I had watched Steve Jobs with his black turtleneck and some other people well known in um, in several worlds as well and they would be uh, wearing a sort of a uniform and I thought well if it's good enough for Steve Jobs it's certainly good enough for me. So I decided on a white blouse with a white tank top underneath or a white shirt underneath and just a pair of jeans. And it's worked out. I went to a store, I bought myself seven white shirts and I bought myself some tank tops. And whenever I'm not on the mountain, whenever I'm not in a skiing or something, wearing some outdoor outfit, I, this is what I wear. And I might um, have dark jeans or uh, light jeans or jeans shorts, but underneath this are, is always a pair of jeans. Makes for really easy um, wardrobe decisions. I don't have to think about it. I just pick an, a clean blouse and a clean tank top and that's it. That's what I do in the mornings. So that's one. Another one that really works for me is uh, appointments. And I don't mean just appointments that pop up every once in a while, not really regularly, but those appointments that come up regularly, like the dentist and uh, the hairdresser and I don't know the physiotherapist you know those kind of things I don't know about you guys but if I just let that slide if I think well uh, I don't want to make an appointment right now I'll do that sometime later oh there's a tractor coming the joys of living in the countryside this is uh, you know it's going to be noisy for a bit so hang on just sit Um, so, um, what I started doing, especially at the hairdressers, because that's probably the only place that I didn't do it, I have an appointment and, and there's the train, also very nice. So, what I started doing is, uh, when I leave the hairdressers, before I walk out the door, I make an another, another appointment for in four weeks. That way, what doesn't happen is what used to happen. I would think, I really need to go to the hairdressers now. And I really need to make an appointment. And then I forgot to make an appointment. And a week later I would think, I really need to go to the hairdressers. And you, you, know, you get the drift. So any type of appointment that is a regular one, whether it's, excuse me, whether it's once a month or once a year or whatever, if it's, a regular appointment, one you have to keep at regular intervals. Make that appointment before you walk out the door. Make that appointment immediately. Servus. And that way you don't have to think about it. Makes life easier. Another one that I do, and that is really ma had really made my life easier, is templates for Excel, for whatever program it is that I use, that I use regularly, and I have to make um, certain documents all the time I make templates I don't or I just use one of the documents that went before 
However, if I take the last route, what often happens to me with my scatter brain is that I forget to change all the names or all the items that need to be changed in the new one, in the new mail or in the new document. And that way and then pep people can see that I um, used a document as a template for them. So I usually make blank templates. And uh, I've got another one for you. So I've had my uniform. And my tip is create a uniform so that you don't have to think about your wardrobe decisions. Appointments, make your appointments before you walk out the door. And the third one was um, templates. And then there's, for me, bullet journal. Bullet journal is great. I love it. If you don't know what it is, Google bullet journal. Bullet as in the thing you shoot out of a gun and journal as in journal. It is a way of um, mashing a, a, a traditional journal with a calendar. It is gr a great way to, um, to bring journaling and, and to-do lists and your calendar together. It's made my life really, really a whole lot easier. And it's a bit hard to go into it to explain it all, so I won't do that here. Maybe I'll do another video someday on uh, bullet journaling. But I'd go and check it out. Go onto Google and find out what bullet journaling is. And the last one, mind mapping. Mind mapping, I use a lot, but and I use it every single day, especially uh, when it comes to uh, grocery shopping. And that may sound weird. I think I did a video about that a couple of weeks ago. But anyways, uh, grocery shopping is a great way for me to do, um, to, to use mind maps. So what I do is I take, um, I sort of make a list or a, 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 a how do I explain this? I think the best way to explain this is that instead of making a list where I item where I just put items on it whenever they come up and therefore have um, stuff all over the place, so not everything is organized to the departments in the in the gross in the grocery store. By using a mind map, you can organize it your grocery list to departments, and that way. You won't come home and found that you uh, forgot the, I don't know, the cinnamon because it was somewhere at the bottom of the list and all the other condiments were somewhere at the top and you forgot to go back for your cinnamon. I'll just put a link to that particular video in there. So those are um, my life hacks for the moment. Maybe I'll come up with some more, but these are the ones that I wanted to share with you and that will create time for you to do to focus on figuring out what a life to live true to yourself looks like. So again, f decide on a uniform, unless you really like clothes shopping, of course, but decide on a uniform. Uh, schedule the, your regular appointments before you walk out the door uh, in, uh, at your last appointment. Create some templates for your email, for Word, or whatever word processor you're using, for your sheets, for your Excel sheets, spreadsheets, that kind of thing. So if you are creating similar documents all the time, use templates. Bullet journal and mind mapping. So I hope this helps. If you want to know more about uh, how these life hacks work, don't hesitate to put a comment in the, se in the comment section and let me know. I'll give you... Uh, whatever advice or tips or whatever it is that you are asking for when you, um, well, if I can. If you want some help figuring out how it is that you can fig find out what is true for you, what your life true to yourself looks like, um, how you can find out what is really important to you and how that would work. Also, don't hesitate to contact me. You can go to daregreatlycoaching.com and find my find me there if you haven't gone over to the facebook group yet that i would love it if you were to come there as well it's dare greatly and live your own life for now i hope as i said this helps have a great 
rest of your day, wherever you are, if you're in the States, it's just started. If you're in Austria or in Europe, we're almost finished. It's five, it's past five here. So um, have a great one. And as always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.